Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm. I've got a great vlog for you guys today with lots of potato digging satisfaction. Uh, but first I wanted to let you know that Greenstalk has decided to do an impromptu sale this weekend for the 4th of July. And it's a pretty cool one. It's uh, all planters are buy one, get one 60% off. And you can also stack coupon codes like mine, which is Roots10. I'll put a link down below. Oftentimes they do sales on like a specific planter, like the original planter here, or like the seven tier leaf back there. Uh, but this one's cool because it's mix and match. Any planter, any color, any size. So if you were wanting to get some shorter ones for kids, like the three levels, or um, if you were needing something shorter because you might need to be gardening from a seated position, green stalks are really great for that. Or if you wanted to just mix and match, I thought it was really cool, and with the stacked coupon, this is actually a really good sale. So I thought I would let you guys know. I didn't want you to miss out on it if you were waiting on a good deal. You can see here I've got my strawberries in these planters, and they were just getting established. I kind of planted them a little late, but in about the middle of August, kind of towards the end when the heat's getting closer to break, I will replant my leaf planter with salad greens and I will grow salad greens through that with that leaf all winter long. So like I said, links down below. Let's watch this vlog. What are we going to do, Ezra? Pluck potatoes. Pluck potatoes. Good morning, you guys. It is a pretty windy morning. We actually have a storm coming through and our forecast says a lot of rain this week. We really need it. I know we're not nearly as dry as a lot of places are. A lot of places are in really serious drought right now. Uh, we have had some rain, but definitely not what it usually is. And given the heat here, uh, it's pretty important to get the rain. So we are headed out right now to pick potatoes because I'm just gonna really hope that rain does come. And <laughs> I'm going to uh, go ahead and get them out of the ground because if it does in fact rain all week my potatoes are pretty close that might not be the best for them hey sweet man I thought they were gonna come up to you but no I haven't I haven't put that respect on my name yet they're going over to Wes instead you haven't been able to round pin them yet they really are very disrespectful yeah like turn your butt to you and stuff yeah you can only fix that in some kind of round pen or something yeah so plus they also like when they're doing stuff that is causing disruption like when we're milking and stuff and i have to like shoot them away they don't like that either so yeah but they're gonna love me yeah they're gonna love you they love west because he has water apparently <laughs> <laughs> this space is changing a good deal today as we get prepared to start on the raised bed garden over here I've decided we're only going to do this side right now and then um, Ezra and I are about to finish working on the potatoes and getting them out of the ground and we're going to be replanting potatoes in these prepared areas and then after we dig these potatoes again in the fall we'll build the other side of the raised bed garden over here. I'm really not sure where my little Ezra Jude just went. Maybe he ran back in the house. I don't know. Maybe I was taking too long talking to Sweet Maya. So we planted, I think, like eight and a half, nine, 40 foot rows of potatoes. We've already dug three and a half rows, which is bewildering because we have so many. Now, this is what we dug up yesterday and we put them on these shelves just to dry out some. We have shade cloth in here, uh, which makes it a really good place to dry things, giving them airflow. Um, that way they don't rot whenever we put them in storage. But already we've probably dug on top of this and maybe like four or five, five gallon buckets of potatoes. There's been a lot. And every time it comes time to dig potatoes, I just want to sing the praises of this method of growing potatoes. So how we do this and how we have done it, in the past I have had times that we did not do any tilling, we just piled compost up when I had a lot of compost. I don't have a lot of compost here. So what we did was we raked up the loose soil kind of in a mound. So you had a mound of loose soil and then we just took the potatoes and nestled them just right in the soil on top and covered with straw. 
and then continued to cover with straw a few times so you had a good thick layer and allowed the potatoes to grow up. So this is essentially like a modified Ruth Stout method of growing potatoes. She, she really talked about like putting them on the ground and then mounting straw on top of it. And I have helped other people dig potatoes grown in a more traditional sense where you bury them down into the soil. Um, and it's so much harder to dig them. But by putting them on top of the soil, just barely nestled into it and then covering with straw they really kind of grow right on the surface of that loose soil and the straw keeps the soil loose uh, because mulching allows the soil to maintain structure so here um, what happens we have like this plant growing right here you can see and when you pull the straw back watch this be a bad example I've already dug some of these and you grab the plant out. All these potatoes really close to the surface. The soil is loose and they're easy to get out um, because they didn't grow down into the compacted part of the ground. They're right here where the soil was loose from the beginning and where it was able to stay loose because it was so heavily mulched. So we've been digging down pretty good, but really there's not any potatoes deep. Now that one was right here on the edge of where I stopped digging. I had actually probably already pulled some of the ones from that plant. But growing potatoes is such a great way to grow food because, you know, I probably put a seed potato about this size in the ground two and a half or three months ago. And then two and a half or three months later, I'm getting multiplication on that food with really very little work. All right, bud, you ready to help pick potatoes? Yeah. Come over here. There are a lot of bugs in this job. They're not going to hurt you, okay? I don't want you to hurt them, all right? Okay. They're just living their best life out here in this potato patch. We're getting our potatoes out, and we want those insects because that means that it's helping the ecosystem of our garden thrive, okay? Okay. So the kids couldn't hang. They uh, weren't really about the insects, and that's fine. Um, they were wanting to go get a pitchfork, and I told them that one of the benefits of planting potatoes the way we do is that you don't have to have a pitchfork to dig them, which means that you don't end up accidentally spearing a bunch of potatoes and damaging them. So that they were gonna have to dig with their hands or not at all. They chose not at all. And I let them choose that. This is one of my favorite jobs to do on the farm. And um, I don't mind doing it without the kids. Sometimes I will override and push my kids to do something that's uncomfortable for them. Um, if I think it's a lesson needing to be learned. But sometimes I say, okay, it's fine. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Ezra had asked me if I had any jobs where he could make some money. And so I had offered him this job. And so he chose not to make the money, which means he won't have the money. And so that's the lesson. And that's fine with me because digging potatoes, listening to an audiobook, happens to be a favorite pastime of mine. So I'm completely okay not sharing it. Well, I think by the time I get to the end of this row, I will have filled up this big bucket and I'll take them and put them on a shelf in the greenhouse to dry out. Finishing up the end of this row here. Of potatoes. I can't remember what this variety is called. Maybe it's butterball or something like that. But they're really good. We've already cooked some of them. You can use them right away. And they're so good. The texture of homegrown potatoes is like super soft and light. Um, I've been canning some. I just pulled all these plants up. This was right here on the edge where it wasn't quite mulched as well and the soil is a lot harder. Well, I don't know if it's actually gonna rain, but it sure does feel like it. it feels so good out here. We're actually gonna reuse this straw to plant the next batch of potatoes. After um, 
our recent run-in with Grazon contaminated soil, um, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about getting straw or hay just anywhere. I've always asked, has this been sprayed with a broadleaf herbicide? And I've never gotten contaminated straw before. This we got from a local person, but we are gonna reuse it to mulch the next round of potatoes. And we're probably just gonna use compost teas to add some more nutrition back into the soil uh, for the next round. Oh man, I just started digging this other variety that was next to the first one. And look, they're red. And very satisfying to dig. I love digging potatoes. It's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite homestead job. I think I even like it more than milking, which is saying something because I really like milking too. I mean, really, you have just these unassuming plants in an unassuming, growing in an unassuming way. You just don't even know that there's anything great going on down there. And you pull back and find treasure. Look at that. All right, I'm about to run inside because I need a little uh, break, but I wanted to show you guys. I started digging about right here. Um, it's hard to tell. It's hard to really convey distance and space on a wide angle lens like this, but this is about, I would say probably 14 feet by four feet of potatoes. So my guess is that that was probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 or 25, 20, maybe probably 20 seed potato plants. And we got this big bucket. So lots of multiplication there. I did pull two plants up out of that, of the red variety. That's a lot of food for just this space. This is not a ton of space. You could easily build a bed this size um, and you could grow quite a bit of food in just this amount of garden. Hey guys, so I was just editing this video and realized that I didn't log off or say goodbye to you. So that's what I'm doing here. I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I hope something in your day brings you as much joy as I got from digging those potatoes. I bless you guys. Until next time.